This is Chef Justin with uh, Idiot Figures. And uh, I went to a GameStop the other day and I pre-ordered my uh, uh, NECA Splinter and Shredder and the Two Foot Soldiers, a bladed one, and uh, I forget what they call the other one. But... And I realized I hadn't even opened my four pack that I got, I don't know, maybe a year ago. I don't remember when it came out, but well, I was very lucky because I didn't pre-order this one and then it showed up. And now, of course, they're everywhere and you can buy them on the GameStop website. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open these suckers up and take a look at them. All right, as you can see, I have them all set up. Oh, I'm focused on them. There we go. Uh, I've got them all set up, and I have them all with a slice of pizza. They each come with a slice of pizza, and they have their weapons. And I put Donnie's uh, in his belt. Now, that this is a really clever design. It has, it's like a, a little bit of ribbon, so you're not getting any paint wear with the rubber to rubber. And another thing I noticed, like, in between the shell, like, it looks like, like, you would think that that is, like, how a turtle shell would be, really. I mean, see so yeah, it's a little bit movable. And I'm not that big of a fan of the pizza. Just because I wish it was just, it would just be pepperoni pizza. It looks like stinkwood pizza. <laughs> but anyway, these guys are awesome. So Don, so they all come, I'll show you Donnie's here, with an extra set of hands. Um, they all have different hands. These ones look like, like pointy fingers. And, uh, and they each come with another bandana, which are plugs and plugs in the back there. The back of their hands, um, they all hold their weapons really well. They all have holsters for their weapons. Well, as far as, like Mikey, or, uh, sorry, Mikey, Raphael, he has them where he kept them in the, in the side of his belt. And there's plenty of space for that. So you can put it, so I have one sign his hand, one in his belt. Mikey, same thing. And I love the nunchucks, this is probably my favorite weapon. And I put them on like a little, a little rope. Even though I think it's weird that it's kind of a double, you know, double rope, but I guess that's probably a reason for that. And Leonardo, his swords are, I like his swords. Think, you see how high up his, well I guess they have, kind of have to make it that high. But just from the back it just looks a little, a little awkward. And see how they leave like a space, like I don't know what the purpose of that is. Um, not sure. But, I like it. Maybe, maybe that's another thing for, you know, try to avoid paint rub or whatever. But he fits both swords in his, in his uh, sheath. Now, you can tell they're, they're a little, little hunchy. And I think if they had broadened the shoulders a little bit, but of course they're turned, like Leo probably looks the better of all of them as far as the shoulders go. But I think if they had broadened their shoulders just a tiny bit, it would have been so much, um, it would have been so much better. But you can see they all have their own personalities. And I freaking love them. These things are awesome. I'm very glad that I pre-ordered, very glad that I pre-ordered the uh, other four pack. These are the 90s movie turtles, which is the turtles that I grew up with, really. And even with the, the you know, the turtle toys, when I was a kid, they, they were the, you know, they were, those were the cartoon turtles back then. Um, so these are, these are very dear to me, these uh, 90s movie turtles, because, I mean, I've probably seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 1 and 2 at least 200 times. Number 3, I've probably seen, oh, jeez, we have a, we're have to take a nap. Yeah, that's another thing, when they came out of the box, their feet are kind of doing, like, ballerina things. And they're very tight, and, you know, I, they pose, they pose well, but I think it'll take a little, you know, the more I pose them, the looser their joints will get, and the easier they will be, too. The hips, especially, like, that's one thing I'm noticing with NECA figures as, I'm, as I've been opening them. Because I never really opened them before. I left them in the boxes. I mean, I've been an inbox collector for a long time. And these guys are probably going to go back in the box after I mess with them for a little bit. But the hips, they have, I don't know what, like, it's it's a ball joint, but it doesn't have, enough, it doesn't have any wiggle room. It's like, it's like a tri, the, the hips are, like, triangular. And instead of, instead of, like, making it, like, a separate piece, like a swivel on the hip, it's like, it goes down like a triangle. So you can, when you move the leg forward, it kind of kicks out a little bit instead of just going forward. Which is, I think, one of the things I'm having issues with when I'm posing them. But again, these guys are awesome. I, order, I recommend you pre-order the the four pack, even though I mean it took a long time for GameStop to get these ones like in stock and ready to go. Um, so I would recommend pre-ordering them. I think the pre I think the printer comes out like maybe even as early as November. I want to say for these guys. God, I hope so. All right, very cool. Thanks for watching, Idiot Figures. And again, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe if you like this video. And there'll be more unboxings to come.